sun is shining, people are out, people are playing, enjoying this green space in our city. Love fresh air, it's a great community spot. I got a checklist of things to do in Boston and uh, definitely coming to Boston Common was right on the top of the list. It's a snow day. We use the Boston Common more than we realize. We use it not just to walk to work every day or sit and have lunch with a friend. We use it for Christmas tree lightings and fireworks and protest rallies. The Boston Common is sort of the people's park. It's the center and heart of the city. So for us, being in the oldest public park in the nation, just seemed like the perfect fit for Free Shakespeare on the Common. It's so historical and it's kind of interesting to walk around and see all the statues and all the fountains. We need to have a nice safe place where we can be able to sit somewhere and read a book or just sit somewhere and watch people. That's part of city life. My favorite part of the Boston Common is the fact that it's a great equalizer. It doesn't matter where you come from, where you live, what you do on any given day when you're in the park. We're all part of the same community in that moment. Boston Common is central to Boston's identity. It's America's first park and we're very, very lucky to have it in our backyard. These are really oases in the city, but also they're the face we show to the world. I would bet that no one, no, no, no traveler, no, no foreigner, no visitor has ever come to Boston without going on the Common. Do you think about all the people that have come to speak on the Common, from Martin Luther King to Pope John Paul II, who gave his first papal mass in America? Our first football game was played on the Common. Uh, we thought we'd build uh, our first snowman here in the U.S., so we're very excited about it. From the time it was acquired in 1640, right through the Revolutionary War, it became a symbol of our independence and freedom. One of the first peaceful protests I attended was anti-war in Vietnam. I'm not a Native American, and that's where I feel that I'm part of America. Each year, the Friends hosts Making History on the Common for over a thousand Boston school children. I really like learning about um, the history of the Boston Common. It brings history alive to them, and I think that's really important. They don't see it just as textbook anymore, but it, they make an actual connection to people. The Friends of the Public Garden came into existence at a time where the parks were going through a period of neglect, and they really restored the beauty that the designers had originally intended for the parks. Since 1970, the Friends has been an essential partner with the city to care for, to renew, and to advocate for our three iconic green spaces in the heart of downtown. Each year, the Friends invests over one and a half million dollars in the care of the Common, the Garden, and the Comav Mall. We also care for the largest collection of public art in the city. Without our funding, trees would suffer, sculpture would deteriorate, we bring the latest science and best practices to the care of the trees and the turf. If it wasn't for us, we would not have one elm tree on the common left. We also do capital projects. The biggest one that Friends has done with the city is the four and a half million dollar restoration of Brewer Fountain Plaza and the landscape around it. This is considered one of the nation's greatest pieces of public art. We are going to completely remove the monument from the plaza level up and rebuild the foundation. We say that it's loved to death, especially the common. It's a challenge to maintain it as an important public space that's safe, that looks good, that's healthy, because it gets so overused. And if the common went away, there'd just be more streets and big buildings there, and which of course is another issue is the the shadows that we have to protect the common from to keep it a really open park. The city is about to embark with our close partnership on a master plan for the common, a bold envisioning of the future of our oldest park. Mayor Martin J. Walsh has raised the Parks Department budget every single year he's been in office, but even with that, we still need the assistance of the Friends to make sure these places remain special. The heart of the city has always been the garden and the common, to lose that, we would sort of lose our heart. 
we can easily take these spaces for granted. If we grew up here or we've been working in Boston for a long time, we don't realize how many volunteers and donors are involved in keeping these places looking great. It's all about our supporters and members who let us do this wonderful, exciting work. We couldn't do what we do without them.